la di da -di. we likes the party. Oh. Greetings and salutations. This is your girl, Miss P. I hope that you are doing freaking fabulous. I'm doing well. I'm actually kind of sleepy right now, so I'm liable to say anything. I have just finished watching the 57th annual 2015 Grammy Award. And I figured, hey, why not? I like the middle to the end of the show, so I'm going to go ahead and do a review. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And honey, these are just my opinions. If you have one that is different from mine, please please be sure to comment down below. If you think the same as me, let's talk about it. And also, I want you guys to click right here. You can head over to my Valentine's Day giveaway and a new haul video, and I want y'all to go ahead and get it in on that one, okay? So yeah, now my boo-boo LL Cool J was hosting this year, as he's done for the last couple of years. And yes, I said my boo, even though he old enough to be my daddy. He brought us in, he was giving me good energy. I was like, hey, LL, LL, LL. Hey, boo. And ACDC opened up the show. Honey, they were giving it to me. I was like, okay, high energy. Something different. We taking it back. Old dude, the guitarist, he had on a short set. I said, yes, this night is going to be something different. <sighs> But after that, I was bored. Hello, Cool J comes back out. He's so fine. I loved him in that blue. And I'm so glad he didn't do no monologues. I love you, LL, but sometimes it's a little bit corny. You know what I'm saying? Taylor Swift came out looking cute in her little blue. I liked her little do and everything. She presented Best New Artist to Sam Smith. And y'all know Sam Smith. Stay with me. I can't even do it. I love that song. I love him. He is like the male Adele in my eyes. I just want to hold Sam Smith and make him some cookies. He looks like he smelled like a peach cobbler mixed with uh aftershave ariana grande she comes out and she performs and in the commercials they were like she's gonna give us something different i was expecting bang bang to happen that's still my jam i love that song i was like yes honey what you gonna give me and honey i was bored out of my mind child i was sitting there like oh lord and baby girl can sing she can i gotta give her that i think she's very very talented but this performance it just wasn't it for me jesse J and tom jones of all people collab and performed together. Yes, Tom Jones, he had on that Bobby Jones collection suit with his little fro. He still has those pipes. I was just doing the call. To Best pop solo went to Pharrell and honey, I was like, oh my God, Pharrell has on a full suit. Why did I think that? He still got on his little man caprice. He told us, he gave us a prelude. This is going to be awkward. I am awkwardly humble when I'm accepting awards. He was the first one to get to get the hell off the stage music. We love you, Pharrell. Miranda Lambert performed, and I was like, okay, come on, Boots, Fog, and Fan. Whoever was the stagehand that did all of the effects and stuff, congratulations. You need a Grammy yourself because I really enjoyed it. It was better than after performances. I had to give Miranda some points for getting the BET Awards bleeping for cussing. Best pop vocal went to Sam Smith. I loved his speech. He was like, you know what? You be yourself and you prosper, okay? So Kanye West was performing in this nice little orb, Stairway to Heaven, and then I was listening to the message of the song, and I was like, oh, okay, I see what you're doing. It was very auto tuny I was like, uh, I don't know. And then out of nowhere, he poofed off the stage. I was like, oh, Miley Cyrus and Nicki Minaj introduced Madonna. Miley was like, she wanted me to call her a bitch. She really did. Don't roast me, y'all. Don't roast me. I was like, that's right, Miley. You better preface and tell everybody not to roast your ass because they were ready. Madonna came out and she was like, everybody get up and say my shit. I said, you better command attention, Madonna. You do it. I was rooting for you Madonna we were all rooting for you but if you would have done one more pop lock and drop it it would have been a wrap I promise you she was like oh, eh, oh, oh wait but she did that though she did it best rock album was presented by the dude who stole the pass at the Super Bowl bless his little heart you can tell this is the first time he was reading the teleprompter and doing all that you try to do that shoot it's hard he's still cute though hey boo and Beck won Beck was like oh god ha huh, ha huh. hello hi uh, uh, Okay. Anyway, best R&B performance went to Beyonce for Drunken Love. I was like, oh, the love is there. You better kiss your man, Beyonce. Yes. Ed Sheeran and John Mayer performed. I love me some Ed. I love his hair. He's so cute. I love his voice. And I just love him. Hey, Ed. Hey. And hey, Quest Love, you better do that. You better pop up. 
Adam Levine and Gwen Stefani, they teamed up to do one of my favorite Maroon 5 songs. I love me some Maroon 5. Now, granted, when Gwen came in, I was like, girl, what you doing? You messed, stop. But then when the chorus came up, I was like, oh, okay, this is cute. And it ended up being a good, solid collaboration. But in the beginning, I was praying hard. Oh, take me to church. It was a good performance initially. But then when Andy came out, she was like, hello, hello, hello. Let me show y'all something. I was like, hey, get on, Andy. Hey, hey, get on, Andy. Go. She took that performance and was like, let me tell all of y'all something, bitch. Let me tell you that I still have this, okay? Get like me, okay? Play that little guitar, little boy. Let me show y'all something. Then she gave me the Suge Avery grind while the guitar was going. Then she did a little thing with her mouth. I said, you know what, Annie? You better give them. Give them everything you have, sweetie. Give it. Best country album went to Miranda Lambert. Child, I ain't know any of them other country uh, artists. I'm sorry. I was super excited to see this Pharrell performance. I love Pharrell. And I was thinking, first of all, sir, what in the hell do you have on looking like a bellhop and a praise dancer put together? I did not know. This was crazier than usual. I was like, oh, Lord, what is this going to be? The music started, and I was like, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this going to be an opera style of happy? Because I'm not ready. I love me a piano solo, but it kept breaking into the happy. I couldn't keep up. Then they did it normally. Everybody was up off their feet. I still love this song but it was just too damn much going on. I couldn't keep up. President Obama, he did a PSA on domestic violence. A young lady came out and she did a spot on it. I thought it was great. And then it went right into Katy Perry. I love me some Katy Perry. And there's quite a few others that can do this, but baby girl changed her hair about three, four times the whole night. She went from purple in the audience to black for her performance. And we didn't think nothing of it. I didn't. Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett did cheek to cheek. I was like, this is so cute. I love Love them together. It, I mean, not in. They just did that. That's cute. I'm still trying to get over how Nicki Minaj and Lady Gaga look normal. I was just stunned with her outfit. She didn't have no meat on her, no knives, no flowers. It was just entertainer, be a performer, be glamorous. And I was like, I just can't believe this. I, oh my God. Usher came out. He performed If It's Magic. He can just sing and that's all we need from him. There was a heart going and I was like, oh, I love hearts. And I was like, where's this going? Where's this performance going to go? He turned around. Steve Lynch just chilling in the background. Now my first thought before I was really thinking was, damn, they got Stevie back there in the dark. Stevie can't see. He don't care. That's when you know you a legend. When you can just say, I'm going to just do a harmonica. I ain't going to sing nothing. And they like, oh, okay, Stevie, whatever you want. But I do have to say this. I think they should go ahead and cut the rest of Steveland's hair. I know it's very superstitious probably. Or maybe a little, um, okay. I just think his team needs to get on that. I'm gonna leave Steveland's hair alone. I don't have to do it. Speaking of ponytails, Keith Urban and his ponytail introduced Eric Church and no shade, but I fast forwarded through both of them performances. I think I went to the, no, I fast forwarded through them. I went to the bathroom on another point. Out of nowhere, Rihanna came out and I'm sitting here like, can we get a smoke signal, a fire alarm Grammys? Rihanna comes out with Kanye West and Paul McCarthy and I was sitting here like, okay, what is this going to be? And this ended up being one of my favorite performances of the night. I have to download that song. Rihanna really sounded good and she had that extra swag with it. She was in her over a large suit her hair was back she knew she was doing it i was like yes girl good job sam smith performed his now classic stay with me and i was like yes orchestra i love me an orchestra that's when you know somebody is really about to sing and this song was blow up she waiting because you have an orchestra in there that's just me though uh oh mary j blige came out and sang with him and i was like okay i can understand this because you remember she did one with bono she's done a lot of collaborations but she can do that type of thing and she just eases into it and gives it that extra soul that it needs i freaking loved it prince came out like hello bitches everybody was like yes prince he was like albums remember those like books and black lives they matter. I was like, yes, Prince, yes. Album of the year went to Beck and child, I don't know if it was just me, but it was just as awkward. I'm sitting up here like, bring your crew on stage. Put them on. Lord, he just, child, he just, Lord have mercy. He didn't know. Shia LaBeouf's little cute self presented Shia. Is it, is it Saya? Saya? Yeah. 
it was like a whole set and everything. And I'm sitting here like, oh, this is cute. Baby girl is pointed to the wall. Now, I know her whole mystique is not to be seen or anything like that. But girl, what the hell? She's singing at the wall the whole time. She got um, Pookie Nim praise dancing and stuff. It was a good performance because I love that song. It was totally different, though. I just have to say. Song of the year went to Sam Smith. Dude won everything. And I have to say, he was giving me that Taylor Swift syndrome. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Samuel, get up there. Beck and Chris Martin performed. Child, no shade, but I went on and got me something to drink. Jamie Foxx and Stevie Wonder presented for record of the year. And it went to, go ahead and fill in the blanks. Stay with me, Sam Smith. But I mean, with the nominees, what did you expect? I mean, I wasn't like, oh my God, I can't believe this is an outrage. There was only one category that was presented live on TV where I was like, oh my God, that's a tough one. I am so glad they still keep the memoriam at the end. Okay, the moment everybody was waiting for was the Selma tribute with Beyonce Common and John Legendary. Beyonce did Precious Lord and she was just standing there. Everybody was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. She had the dudes behind her. I was like, oh, this is cute. She was snapping in the waist. I said, you better give it to him, B. Oh my God. There was a huge mess on social media about who should have performed that, Lettucey or Beyonce. They are two different artists all together. I see why people were a little antsy because Lettucey was actually in the movie. To me, I can understand if they were figuring out who should sing it for the Oscars because she was actually in the movie. That's what I'm thinking. But either way, Beyonce, she brings in the numbers and shoot, she's Beyonce. So it is what it is. She done sung it. It's it's over with. Now my face the whole time when Beyonce was singing this was like, ooh, oh, oh, ooh, oh, okay, oh, oh, okay, mm, oh, I, oh, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. This performance, it wasn't amazing, but it was good. You can tell that this isn't her normal and she was like, oh, okay, let me, okay, oh, I got it now, I got it. And that's natural for any performer, but that Jonathan Legendary, honey, when he came out and did that glory and cop it, woo! Okay, that was a good one. I really hope that they win the Oscar. I really, really do. And then it was like, oop, sexual chocolate drops the mic. It was over with. I was like, oh, that's it? That's all? D we ain't getting nothing else. It was just getting good. All in all, I'm gonna give this show a three out of five stars. How do you feel about it? Are you as invested in these award shows? Because the Grammy is like the ultimate award that you can get in the music industry. Do you remember back in the day, pre-social media and pre-DVR, where you really had to sit there and watch the show, or you had listened to all these artists, you knew who everybody was, and maybe I'm just out of it a little bit. I feel as though I'm not not as connected as I used to be. What say you? Let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye!